What's up everybody, Tidamic Games here and welcome back to Let's Play Minish Cap. In uh, the last part, we did some stuff, I don't remember, it doesn't matter. Um, actually in the last part we just kind of ran around and grabbed some stuff. Didn't really do much, but in this episode we are going to take a trip to Lake Hylia. Because we need to go and get the next um, element. So we're just going to travel to that wind crest real quick. Oh no! Give it to me! I want it! No! No, this can't be happening! Ah! Oh well. Damn it! That's really frustrating. Actually, how am I going to get into the lake? I gotta get over there in the lake. But I can't get to there from right where I am. Although I think- oh wait, there's a little pond over here, I bet. I bet you more than anything, there's something in there. Yeah, there is, there's a piece of heart! Nice! Holy crap, that is really freaking good. We might even be able to get all the pieces of heart in this game, who knows? Oh dang it, I can't get across those because you have to have a way to get up onto the ledge, like, uh, like one of these little areas or, um, god damn it! Douchebag. Oh, so I can't even get over here either. Damn. I'm gonna need something else to get into those, I guess. What's up? What's going on up here? Oh, there's a little minish area. So I bet if I turn minish, there's a lot that I can do around here when I'm small. Um, like I can go up there. Hello there, mister. All right. Ah, god damn it. There's a thing over here that I can get into now. God, I am getting just royally wrecked right now. Because you can't attack when you're in the water, so it's like... It's like really frustrating. Can you please? Damn it. I can't get to them. Oh well. I'll just dig into here then, and see what's going on in here. Oh, this seems fairly small. Oh, there's a chest. 50 rupees. Not too shabby. Anything going on on the top? Uh, ceiling? Whatever the fuck? top part here? Apparently not. Ah well, that wasn't too much. But it wasn't too bad either. I can't complain. Alright, there we go. Why don't I use the magical boomerang? I can totally use- oh no, I, I can totally use the bow on these guys. There we go. Wow, it barely does any damage to them. Maybe it's not worth it to use the uh, bow. On these guys. I don't know. Either way. Hi, Lloyd. Hello there. Yeah. Man, my my brain is just getting all tongue twisted for some reason today. It's really bad. <laughs> so now I can get up here and I can go inside this little hut here. Whatever this is. Wow, that guy didn't even care. Normally those guys will start running at you if, um, you attack them. That guy just did not give a fuck. Hello there. Alright. Oh, hey, cool. Kingstone piece. So now let's see what's inside here. Because, gotta be something good, right? Oh, it's a training dojo. But I got myself a piece of heart. I got a new heart container. Damn, I am just getting heart pieces of heart left and, left and fucking right. Holy shit. Oh god, I can't speak. Okay, here we go. And I'm also really burpy. You have found the true master swordsman of high rule, Waveblade. Oh, excuse me, I'm really burpy. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that will make you a master. So would you like to train here? Of course, absolutely. Why not? Now will you learn a dan now you will learn a dangerous technique for desperate times. The peril beam. First, you must have only one heart left. Second. Use the last ounce of your strength to swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yeah, I got it. So, there is no turning back now. For one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. But wait, I only need- I need to have just one heart left. Does that mean you're gonna hurt me? This is the Waveblade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this. Hurt. Possession! Hold on, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Now you must try it yourself. 
When you have only one heart left, swing the sword with the last of your one waning strength. Jesus. I guess that's it. Yes, fine work. You know the way. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. So are you gonna give me my hearts back? I really hope you are. Release a mighty beam from the tip of your blade. Use it in dire moments. Okay, good. Thank you, buddy. You're a huge friend. Now there is nothing more that I can teach you. Your training from now on is all in your mind. The way of the sword leads ever upward. Yes! Alrighty then. I'll uh, come back later if I ever need anything else from you. Which I probably won't. I'm probably good right now. Alright, what's going on up here? Oh, I can push this and I can get down here whenever I need to. Awesome. So I should probably just go ahead and go to the Temple of Dropless now, right? And this seems like a uh, logical way to do things. Actually, I want to see what's in those Minish uh, things. Because I'm really, really curious now what's going on in this like Minish hole up here. And what's in the other one over there. What's up, dude? What is it? What do you want from me? You're after my beat, aren't you? Well, I'll never tell you what it is. It's mine, do you hear me? Mine! But I suppose if you confuse a kinsman with me, I might tell you. How was I? Did I sound like an elder? I've been practicing my elder S. Or elder E's. I mean, yeah. It was a little bit weird, but alright. Huh? You want to fuse kinstones? Yeah, alright. Oh, sweet. I got just a piece for you, and it's right on top. Maybe something good will happen. Hopefully. Ooh. Wonder how we get to there. Whoa. Interesting. That's in the northern part of Lake Hylia. I wonder how to get there. Hey, a perfect fuse. Maybe we'll get lucky now. Maybe. Alright, so now I've got to go to the north, even farther north. Because there was a hole over here that I wasn't able to get into as I was when I was big. Oops, didn't mean to shoot that. Um, let's stick with I don't know the boomerang for now, I guess. Ah, damn it! There's a torch there, but I can't light it up. Ah, fuck! All right. So now, yeah, I wonder what's in here. This place isn't very familiar to me. I don't remember this place too well. Damn it. Okay. Wait, what's up? What's going on up here? Hmm. Looks like nothing. Damn it. That guy hurt me. I wasn't paying attention. Um. Damn, I can't light any of these torches. I don't have anything to light them with. I only had like a lantern or, I don't know, something like that. Hey, get out of here, man. I'm just getting in my way. Okay, that's not helpful at all. Whoa! Dropping slugs on me. That's not cool, bro. Alright. Hey! I see your game. Can't fool me. Ah, damn it! I didn't want to do that. Alright, now we're good. Shouldn't fall in this time. So we should be fine. Wait, is there something cool in here? I feel like there would be something cool in here. Right? I don't know, it just seems really suspiciously, like, random. I don't know. Let's see what's inside here. A red kinstone piece. Awesome. That was really good. I don't know if it was worth the, uh, how long of a trek this was, but... I don't know. It was still kind of cool. So now I want to know how to get up to that uh, plant that that guy, or that um, grew when I fused with that one dude. Maybe I can't get it till later. I don't know. Either way, I need to go to the Temple of Droplets. Wait, don't I need to be small to get into the Temple of Droplets? Ah well, fuck it. Oh wait, I can use it to turn small. Interesting. Let's do it. Let's delve. Let's check out this uh, cutscene. Temple of Droplets. 
<sighs> chatter, chatter. I'm freezing in here. If you don't find that element quickly, I'm going to turn into a hatsicle. Hurry up, tidy. I'll do my best. Ooh, I like this music. I really do. What? This floor is made out of ice. Be careful not to fall and freeze your backside into the floor, tidy. Yeah, yeah. And so... So this level is a little bit interesting. The reason I say that is because most of the time I absolutely despise ice levels. But I actually really like this uh, level. And I don't, I, I, I don't even know why. I just really love this level. Damn it, keep going. I want to scratch my nose. Oh god. Any more of you guys gonna run at me? Oh god. The torches are shooting at me. Everything is not okay. Stop shooting at me, please. Blocks. Anyway. Um. Okay. Everything's good. There's a weird hatch on the floor, though. I wonder if I can open that some way. I'll probably have to find a way to open it later. I guess I'll see. But for now, I'm just... I'll just delve into this cave. Ooh, what does this do? Hmm. Interesting. Ah, the sunlight's shining through. Ah, it's so nice and warm. I can feel myself starting to defrost again. Ooh, interesting. Hold on a second, I need to blow my nose real quick. Alright, sorry about that. Had to do my deed real quick. So, I bet... If I move this ice block... Hmm, it looks like something's frozen inside this block of ice. Tidy, why don't you go take a look? Looks like a, uh, key. Well, I bet if I push this into the sunlight, the sunlight will be able to warm it up a little bit. Of course, if it could, if it could melt that ice block that I'm pushing around, wouldn't it be able to melt the, uh, ice that it's under? Maybe it's stronger ice. Maybe it's ice of a different material. Who knows? Awesome. I got myself a small key. Cool. Very, very neat. Very clever, uh, design with this. So now I've got a key that I can use to get to the other door. Right over about here. See if I can get through this, uh, room without getting hurt. Doesn't seem likely. But it's entirely possible. Alright. Yeah. Awesome. Oh god. The blue guys. These blue guys are so, like, fast and, like, skittery, and it's like, yeah, stop! Alright, well, there's no way across this gap, so I guess I'm gonna have to jump down. See what's going on down there. Da -da -da. I love this song. Ooh, interesting. So that looked like the boss key. Huh. Oh god, a block-pushing puzzle. I'm bad at block-pushing puzzles. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think I've got it. I think I figured it out. Okay. I think I've got this all figured out. I'm all good. Wait. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I figured it out. So now I push these over here. Push this one up. Push it to the side. And then, let's push this down. To the left. Push this one down. And then to the left. Then push it up and to the right. And I got it, right? Ah, goddamn, I'm a fucking genius. God, I'm too smart for my own good. You got the big key. Use it to open big doors. Wait, I know where a big door is. There's a big door right at the beginning of the dungeon. Like, is this dungeon seriously going to be that short? Usually you use the big key, like, at the end of a dungeon, right? Wait, how do I get back across? I don't know how to get back across. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, you know what I got to do? I know what I got to do. I got to push this. So that this thing closes and I can walk across. Haha, <laughs> I am smart. 
Yep, see? I can just go right across. We're right across. Yeah. I'm getting so tongue-tied today, man. That was really bad for me. Oh well. As long as it doesn't bother anybody too much. And I'll uh, try my best not to get super tongue-tied. Wait a second. No, I need to go to where the big door was. God damn it. The fucking pods respawn every time. Alright. So that's interesting. Here it actually teaches you how the ice physics work with blocks. So that it can uh, let you know what you have to look forward to. Yep, right here. I can use this to open the door. So this isn't the boss already, is it? Whoa, that looks ominous down there, whatever that is. God damn it! Fucking douchebags. God, they're all coming after me. I'm gonna save those, because those probably have hearts in them. Hey! Well done, Tidy. It looks like the element, all right. This looks to be the element, all right. What will we do? We can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We need to melt it off somehow. Hmm. Oh, God. That is a little bit terrifying. That's like a giant octorock. But I guess uh, I'll have to figure that out, won't I? Ah, damn it. I didn't want to get hit. I bet if I give them some sunlight, something good will happen. I don't know. Who knows? Man, what is going on here? Oh, there's a bunch of uh, cool stuff here. What's over here? I got the dungeon map. Cool. Very, very useful. Let's see how big this dungeon is. Oh, wow. It's kind of a big dungeon. It's even got basements and shit. Damn, dude. This is a huge dungeon. This dungeon is probably going to take me a couple episodes to even do. It'll be nice because it'll be the first time I've done an episode in a couple... Or, excuse me, it'll be the first time I've done a dungeon in an episode for a while. But this game has so much in the overworld that it's like... It's incredible. And like, this game is actually really unique. Uh, in the Zelda franchise in a lot of ways but the main way that I was gonna say is that like it's it's incredible how this game okay I can't go any farther that way but it's incredible how this game has it has four dungeons it only has four dungeons yet it's still an incredibly long and incredibly engaging game like it doesn't feel super short like I remember playing it way back in the day and it didn't feel like a short game to me Way back in the day. Interesting. Hmm. Is there a way to... I bet I have to come up from there, don't I? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, here. Let's try going over to the other side here. See what I can do here. I can press a button. Oh. Interesting. Let's see. So what's going on with this? Oh, I can't even open that. I don't have a key. Alright. I don't know why I went into the water. Oh, probably because I wanted to go down here. So I'm curious. But what's down there? Oh, cool. Oh, and then this is how you get back up. To this climbing wall. Gotcha. Alright. I gotta time this correctly so I don't get hurt. Okay, we're good. Ooh, what is this? Kinda looks like a gravestone. What does it say? The way forward is hidden in the bottom of the pot. The bottom of the pot. Oh! Interesting! That might be a reference to the um, shape of the dungeon. Because the dungeon kind of looks like a pot. Do you see it? Like, the total of the dungeon kind of looks like a pot. And I bet it's saying that in the bottom of the pot, or in the bottom of the dungeon, or in the south side of the dungeon. I'm pointing to the screen, you guys can't see it, but in the south side of the dungeon, in this area that I'm like right next to, I bet there's something there that I need to beat the dungeon. Maybe. Guess we'll see. Let's go look. Oh, or maybe it's that pot right there. Which is actually, funnily enough, it's in the bottom of this pot too. So, I guess it works in both ways. Yeah, there it is. There's a small key. Oh, that's cool. What I thought was gonna happen. You had to dive in there. Oh, can't do anything with that. Anything else I can see around here, maybe? Maybe something cool in like one of the corners? No, probably not, but <laughs> I don't know, it's worth checking out, right? Leave no stone unturned, so to speak. 
Alright, well let's... Let's go ahead and swim our way back up to uh, that locked door that I couldn't get into before because it was locked. Um... I'm trying to think of what all goes on in this dungeon, or what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I think I'm good. I just have to go into this locked door and check out what's going on behind these closed doors. Oh, it's just the other side of this. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Ah, oh, but now I've got one of these I can use. So now I can use this to step onto um, platforms that would otherwise not be uh, accessible. Hmm. Cool. Damn, I've been recording for a long time already. It's already dark. C uh, because I've been like recording a bunch of stuff, I'm uh, or because I've been like recording a bunch of stuff to get like prepared for uh my vacation that I'm taking soon. Um, I've been recording a bunch, like at least more than I'm used to. So. So yeah. Oh, uh, how am I gonna get past this? Somehow, I guess. I got past it somehow. Run! I did it. Oh, I am like the best Zelda player in the world. And that's absolutely not true. I've seen speedruns of this game who do this game much better than I probably do. But, I don't know, I got some skills. I actually used to totally suck at games um, until very, very recently. Damn it. Ugh. There we go. Now I can walk on here. Cool. Come at me, bro. Wait, you got something? Yeah, you want to mess with this? Yeah, I didn't think so. It's what I thought. You know what would be kind of cool? I just thought about this. What if, like... Because, uh... You may have noticed in the past that, like, when some... When uh, a bad guy drops something over water, it just goes in the water and it's gone forever. But what if you... What if they included, like, a thing where when something drops into the water... You can actually dive into there, and then you can get it. That'd be interesting. Wait a second, what's going on? Oh, this is like the next part of the dungeon. I don't want to be here yet. I want to go check out the side parts of the dungeon first. Oh, nothing to see here, I guess. I want to see what's uh, south and to the east. Or down to the right. For people who aren't good at west and east. I'm honestly really bad with confusing west and east. Left and right, I'm perfect at. I'm perfectly fine with doing left and right. Oh god, this is gonna be a lot harder with uh, the floors the way they are. Come at me, bro. Turn blue, though, first. Alright. Alright, here we go. We're doing fine. Yeah. Three hits, I think, still. Or three uh, phases. Three cycles, I should say. There we go. Yeah! There we go. Heal ye. Alright. I have no. I don't think I have any reason to take these uh, off the walls, do I? There's nothing really behind them. So let's see what's up here. Ooh, is this gonna be the compass? Awesome! It's the compass. Pretty useful. Well. That's gonna have to be the end of my episode because I'm all out of time. I'm, I've been running for about 24 minutes now, so, and we still got like the entire rest of this dungeon I gotta deal with. I mean, look at all these chests I still haven't even gotten yet. So, you got that to look forward to in the next episode. So, uh, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, check out my channel for a lot more videos just like it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.